everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life so today we are going to do a paycheck breakdown but we're also going to close out october just because there's not any more income coming into october so it's okay to close it out all bills have been paid everything that needs to be taken care of for this month has been taken care of so I want to go in and what I'm reading off of my phone because I keep everything in my phone I also keep it on a, in my planner as well but the graphs that and things that I'm going to show you guys is actually in my phone just because I feel like it's just a waste of paper to print it out so a lot of times what I do is I write down everything in my planner and in my budgeting book but I also have it as a layout on here just in, just so I can show you guys. Um, and it's just easier for me correctly. So what you're going to see here or over here is the second bi-weekly paycheck uh, for the month of October. So all together, our income, well, this is not really our income as a total, but this is his portion that he puts in my portion that I put in all together and this is everything together for the bills and also I put in more because I have stuff on here as well that you guys are going to see that I pay on my own that are mine so second bi-weekly paycheck the paycheck all together $1,616 is what we were working with our expenses for this second week was $1,552 which left us left over of $64 and I ended up putting that $64 in my savings. So let's see. After pay was $243. Cell phone was $260. The gas bill was $46. The cable bill was $72. Apple products. And when I say Apple products, I mean the insurance we have on our watches. Um canva youtube and that's pretty much it yeah canva youtube and our apple watches now the reason it's 55 dollars because i i came to my senses i used google to upload my videos so i could upload them to my computer because i just i'm not purchasing an imac or airbook or whatever they, i'm not purchasing that. my little my little google computer works just fine and what i do find is it's hard to transfer from my Apple phone to my Google phone. So I like using my Android phone to record and it automatically uploads my photos to the Google um, photo thing. But that thing costs $9.99 for one terabyte. I don't need that much storage. So what I did was, I think I got 26 or 20 gigabytes for $29 a year. And that way I don't have to worry about paying $9.99 every month. I'm just paying $29.99 a year. So this will be the last time that the Apple product should be this high. Okay, car insurance. The car insurance is $260. The furniture, because you know we we're paying on our living room furniture, is $125. The uh for myself, I budgeted $266. Now I will tell you guys already I've spent half of that. <laughs> Because I wanted to treat my husband as well as myself to my favorite place, which is Joe's Crab Shack. We have this thing where we take each other on dates. I took my husband on a date, okay? So we went to Joe's Crab Shack um, in Kima and we had a ball. We ate and drank and we came home and we were in the bed all day literally till the next day all day long um so i took a big chunk of that and spent it at joe's and i'm okay with that because there's nothing i need i was gonna go get my nails done because they do need to be done but i'm looking for something closer to home because where my nail tech is now i'm like literally traveling 20 30 minutes out there and back 20 minutes there 20 30 minutes there 20 30 minutes back and i want to keep doing that they have a few nail shops by my house that i'm going to check out to see how they are so i'm gonna start 
you know, giving these little places a shot, seeing what they can do. And that'll let me know if I'm going to use their services. Push come to shove, there's a King's Nail by my house. It's just a little more expensive, which is pretty much what I'm paying already, which is between $125, $150. It's pretty much what I'm paying already anyway for my hands and my feet. So um, I'll decide if where I'm going to go next month. I just don't want to do that this month, so my nails will not be done this month um let's see joint savings in the joint savings i put up 50 in the rainy day i put up 100 in a personal savings i put up 50 and in a christmas savings i put up 25 so i feel like that was pretty good and those amounts automatically come out of our accounts every month so i feel like that was pretty good as far as savings go now let's get into our october budget closeout y'all gotta excuse somebody just text me so the set so what we saved this month like i said was a hundred dollars in the retirement fund all together for october for the rainy day fund we saved 200 for the expenses or like little stuff that like we might want to go get ice cream or why well, that's why i say it's expensive treats um we might want to go get ice cream we might go want to go to our favorite place get some peach cobbler we might Something like that. We didn't put anything in it this month. Um, our Christmas fund, we put $90. We're closing it out with $90. Our car fund, I'm closing it at Well, my car fund, I'm closing it out with $158. And then my personal fund, I don't have anything in there. I think I have like $50 cash. That's it. Roll over money. There is no run up, roll over money. So the debt paid all so far is $890. I'm very proud of that. Um, trying to get after pay completely paid off. Um, trying to get these credit cards completely paid off. But I'm very happy with the payoff um, for the month of October. So let's see what else I want to share with you guys. Um, oh. So our fives and one challenge as of right now. Um, for 10, right now we're on 1020. Um, the month is not finished. I'm doing it. Y'all know I do the five one challenge to the end of the month, but right now we're at so far. I put four dollars and 21 cents up, so that's where we are with that. Um, if I spend again, then I'll put it up. And I actually haven't checked um, my account for yesterday, so while I'm here with you guys. Let me go in and check that and see if I need to maybe put any ones or fives up. As you guys know, I am doing it digital. Okay, I do need to put some ones and fives up. See, I'm glad I went and looked. Okay, so right now, let's see. I'm transferring nine dollars over. So that would be five one five four ones. So I'm actually gonna transfer that over into my personal savings so that's gonna be nine dollars and one cent transferred all right and that leaves me with let me update my me dollars one cent that leaves me with 169 dollars and 62 cents so that is pretty good um yeah uh i think there's not really anything we're doing for the month of november i think the only purchase that we're making for the month of november is our rug and possibly our lamps but definitely our rug so that is the only big purchase we're making in november and in december as a christmas present to ourselves we're going to get our tv for our living room and then we'll work on the dining room area um as you know when you decide to become one you're picking out furniture together you're doing things together so we are making our house a home that's what we're in the process of doing and we are picking out pieces and furniture and colors and things together um on just to make it look exactly how we want it to look considering the fact that we are going to be home a lot we've already done the office the exact way that i envisioned it because he let me do the office 
So we've already done that the exact way that I've envisioned it in the way that I wanted it and it came out looking really good. The only thing I still have left to do with the office is buy two end tables and probably, I don't know, maybe put some pictures on the wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not because I don't want to put any holes on the wall. So I don't know. I'm still deciding on that. But for the most part, it is exactly how I want it. And right now we're in the process of finishing the downstairs area because I want to work our way down, uh, start down and work our way up. So we still have the dining room area, we're completing the living room area, and I'm redoing the whole bathroom downstairs. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's some work. I'm redoing the whole bathroom downstairs. So I am gonna get out of here. That is our paycheck, our second week paycheck, as well as our budget closeout. Uh, remember to think smart, spend smarter, have fun planning it all out, and I will see you guys in the next budgeting video. I think our next budgeting video will probably be November the 4th because we both get paid on the 3rd. Um, so that'll be our um, um, first paycheck, bi-weekly paycheck um, thing. So I'm going to get out of here. I have to finish cooking. It is Sunday. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.